Hello, my name is Stefan Yovanovich, and I'm the Digital Services Librarian here at Willard Library, and welcome to Apps, Tips, and Tricks, where we learn how to use some of Willard Library's popular digital services, which are free to use for any Willard Library cardholder. Today, I'll be going over the basics of how to borrow eBooks using the OverDrive website and sending the title to your Kindle e-reader. OverDrive is one of the digital lending platforms for checking out eBooks and audiobooks through Willard Library using your mobile device and computer. With thousands of eBooks and audiobooks in all areas of fiction and nonfiction to choose from, there's always something to read. OverDrive never closes with 24-hour access to check out, return books, or place holds. All eBook and audiobooks automatically return themselves so there are never any late fees. What you will need to create an account is your Willard Library card number and PIN number. And that's all you'll need. If you don't know your PIN number, feel free to give us a call and we can confirm your PIN number for you over the phone. Otherwise, it's typically the last four digits of your phone number. Now let's get started. First, let's go to the website mlc.overdrive.com on your phone, laptop, or desktop computer. Once the page is loaded, click sign in in the upper right hand corner of the screen. Now choose Willard Library from the drop down menu, or start typing it out to make it easier. Then type in your Withered Library card number and PIN number. The PIN number is typically the last four digits of your phone number. Now that you're signed in, to search for a book or author, click the search button in the upper right hand corner of the screen. And here's a quick tip for when you're searching. As your search results pop up below, you will notice to the right, it will list whether the result is a name of a series, title of a book, or name of an author. This definitely helps if you only know one part of a title, need to know the next book in a series, or only know the last name of an author. It can help narrow down your search. Just to note, some book titles are not compatible with Kindle e-readers. You can view all Kindle compatible titles by clicking the Kindle Books link near the top of the page. If a title is available to check out, it will display available above the book cover. If a title is currently checked out, it will display waitlist above the book cover. Another way to see if a title is available is by checking to see if it says borrow underneath the book cover. And another way to see if a title is currently checked out is by checking to see if it says place a hold underneath the book cover. When you find the book you want to read, select borrow underneath the book cover. Now choose your lending period from the drop-down menu. You have the choice of 7, 14, or 21 days. After your lending period is over, your book automatically returns. Click Borrow one more time to confirm the checkout. Now that your book is checked out, click Read Now with Kindle to send the book to your Kindle e-reader. Now you'll be taken to Amazon's website to finish retrieving your e-book. Sign into your Amazon account using your username and password. Now that you're signed into your Amazon account, select the device you want to send your ebook to using the drop down menu on the right side of the screen. Just note, some users have multiple devices, so checking to make sure you're sending the book to the correct device is crucial. Now that you've selected the correct device, click Get Library Book to retrieve your ebook. If your Kindle is connected to Wi Fi, your book will automatically download. Now this covers the basics of using the OverDrive website to send books to your Kindle e-reader. If you have any further questions or encounter any error messages while navigating the site, feel free to leave a comment below or email me at sjovanovich at willardlibrary.org. Enjoy!